Welcome to Charlotte's 2020 Vision. Hi there, welcome to Charlotte's 2020 Vision. So today we're gonna to talk about the contract. Your house is on the market, you did everything to stage it perfectly, I got you multiple offers, and now you're saying, Char, how do I get this contract to stick? What do I look for? What is the most important things to be aware of? Well, top three things. One is financing. You must make sure that the buyer is pre-approved, not just pre-qualified, but pre-approved with their loan in hand. You need to make sure that the property is gonna appraise for that value. How do you do that? Well, I make a package for the appraisers and I show the comparable sales, they already know that, but most importantly, what um, features that your home has that make it stand out and add to the value. That's very important. And also the earnest money deposit. The buyer is gonna put down a deposit and we wanna make sure that that's painful for them to lose if they do default. The next is the home inspection. There are three ways to do a home inspection. They either do the home inspection and have the right to ask you for repairs, or the home inspection is done without the opportunity to ask you for repairs. Some buyers in a competitive situation will waive it all together. But most of the time we see that the buyer's either asking for repairs and it's generally the maintenance kind of issues, heating, cooling, plumbing, smoke and heat detectors, any small things that they find like that. And lastly is the homeowner association. By Virginia law, you need to give the buyer the current homeowner documents that show the covenants and bylaws laws of the community. They will also check your property to make sure that you have no violations, that you haven't put a deck on the property without the proper approvals, change the color of your shutters, or anything that would bring it out of compliance. So you need to bring it into compliance and do those things before closing. That is very important. So those are the top three things that are contingencies that are timely that you need to be aware of. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you the next time.